Friends, what do you think is the biggest expense when you're doing food delivery? It's got to be gas for your car, right? Or is it your lunch during your shift? Or is it taxes that you're going to pay for all your gig economy earnings? Before I share the answer, I want to welcome you. This is the next topic of a short series on what you must do in order to be successful and profitable when you start doing food delivery next year. And you know what? It's right around the corner. What's your biggest expense? It's your entire vehicle. Before doing gig work, I never truly realized just how much it cost me to drive my car. I would drive whenever, wherever I wanted, and I didn't really consider cost. Yeah, of course, I knew about adding fuel and doing oil changes, but overall, I really didn't realize how much per mile it was costing me. And now I do. After learning about this knowledge, then you're gonna either be blessed or cursed knowing how much it costs you to run errands, visit your friends, or other fun activities. Although the government rarely does anything well or efficiently, the IRS does know what they're doing. And in general, it does cost 67 cents per mile to operate your car. I'm not gonna go into the details because seriously, I know most people don't care. Suffice it to say that you have control over how much it costs you to operate your vehicle. If you drive a Dodge Charger, then it costs you more than a Toyota Prius. And you can imagine why. Because you are planning ahead to do food delivery, you've got the opportunity right now to research vehicles that are gonna help you do your job. I think you should buy a vehicle that's gonna help you do your work. Are you also gonna do rideshare? Are you gonna handle large grocery or catering orders? Or are you just gonna stick with restaurant food deliveries? Knowing what you wanna do is gonna help you decide what type of vehicle to get into. Now, don't get caught up on gas mileage alone, although I do. Consider maintenance costs, insurance costs, things like that. If you have the wrong size vehicle, then you're definitely not gonna make the money you need. A consideration a newer vehicle costs more upfront, but then you spend less on repairs at first. An older vehicle is cheaper, but you're gonna spend more on repairs. <laughs> Let me tell you about that. Consider getting a five-year-old vehicle so it's basically new enough to be reliable and old enough that you don't have to pay new car prices. Please stick with reliable manufacturers such as Toyota, Honda. Stay away from American cars unless you really need them for your business. For example, an Escalade, that's great for doing rideshare, upscale rideshare, excuse me, or private rides. An Escalade would be an exceedingly poor choice for doing DoorDash. But what if you can find an older Prius or Corolla and spend very little in gas and maintenance? That sounds like a win. If you're gonna do catering or transport many passengers, then a Toyota or Honda SUV or minivan even might be the way to go. Most people start doing food delivery on short notice because they need the money right now. More often than not, it's best just drive the vehicle you already have because you're going to lose money whenever you sell a vehicle. And then when you buy one, you have to pay taxes and fees and all that adds up. If you can afford it, keep your current car for your daily life and current job and then go out and buy an older Corolla or something like that and use it for gig work. That way you're never gonna be stranded in life when you put a ton of miles on your gig economy work car. Something to think about. Looking back over the last six years, I should have sold my car right away before I even started doing food delivery and also when I did ride share. I was planning on buying a hybrid Camry. It's too late now. I have this older Lexus still. Ride share really put on the miles. In hindsight, it would have been better to take short distance ride share trips to increase the chance of tips and then less wear and tear on my car. And that's a pro tip for you. My car is older and I spend about roughly $3,000 a year on maintenance and repairs. Now, am I confident right now should I sell my car and get into something newer? No way, I've put so much into this car and they have been good repairs. So it really should last forever and I really want it to. But I will tell you a little secret. I'm waiting for this crypto bull market to play out and then I'm going to buy a newer car. I'm building up the courage to go electric. I really want to get a Tesla Model Y for my next vehicle. If I don't get an electric, then I'll go with hybrid. 
I plan on still doing catering as well as potential cargo and rideshare rides. So I do need a larger vehicle. Being electric or hybrid is gonna allow me to be profitable even if I'm just doing the regular food deliveries. In light of this information, please share what vehicle you're gonna drive and please tell me why in the comments below. While you're thinking about this, I think you've heard that you can do basically what you want and when you want because it's not a traditional job. You don't have set hours, you don't have a boss. Well, surprise, surprise, you actually do have a boss. Just like me, I trust you're up for the challenge. In this next video, I'm gonna teach you about your new boss, the customer. I'll see you there.